Hey friends, Ash here with Gin Sense. Hope you're doing well. Guess what time it is? It's fragrance haul time. We've got three fragrances. Each one of these has the possibility of being just sick. Just a great fragrance. And they also have the potential to suck horrifically. Two. I got a feeling, <laughs> like the Black Eyed Peas, I've got a feeling that uh, they, they might suck. But we're gonna see, fingers crossed. So let's jump into it. Let's check these fragrances out. I'm gonna show you what they are really quickly before I start smelling them. First up, we've got Brioni Porome, and this is actually a tester. It looks the exact same as the normal presentation, except they print tester on it. So a little bit nicer than the typical white box that you'll find, like this one for Burberry Hero. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, such an ugly tester box. Ugh. Just that standard disgusting white box. Ugh. And then uh, Ralph Lauren Ralph's Club, and this is just a normal presentation, so cool. Got all three of these from fragrancebuy.ca. I've got a link in the description to their website. Check them out, they're a great discounter and they have a loyalty program where you can save some money, assuming you spend some money there and work yourself up some sprays. That's the loyalty program currency. Raise. They have niche fragrances, designer fragrances, great prices. They've got door busters on the front page that change fairly frequently. They are in Canada, but they ship to the US and they ship really quickly. So shout out to fragrancebuy.ca. Again, link in the description. Let's check these fragrances out. Let's see if they suck. So we're gonna rank these on a scale of one to 10, I guess. Just first impressions. One is it causes cancer and uh, will probably be the scourge that destroys the earth and 10 being, uh, hey man, what are you wearing? That smells really good. Seems like a pretty big gap between those two. Today we're using handy dandy tester strips because I'm already wearing a fragrance and I don't want to spray these over top of the existing fragrance because that'd be weird. Brioni is first and here it is. Badge code for this one is B0B21, but I think it sounds better just to say Bob21. I do like the look of the bottle. It's classy, it's heavy in the hand. It is a little bit simplistic with just this kind of, uh, well, I guess that's supposed to be like the inside of a suit jacket, like the little label that you would find on the inside flap of your jacket. And then the cap, ooh, it's magnetic. It does spin freely, but it's nice. It's got a little B on the inside too. And on the atomizer, attention to detail, nice. Now, one thing I do wanna say is that I typically am not a huge fan of smelling fragrances off tester strips and, and making uh, firm decisions of what I feel of the fragrance off the tester strip because fragrances smell so much differently off skin, but uh, still what we're doing today. So this one comes across semi-sweet and ozona, good amount of violet off the top that you can pick up pretty much right away. The violet comes across slightly green and a little bit watery. This one would be easy to wear, you know, office safe for sure. Nice casual scent as well. You could dress it up a little bit if you wanted to. Not the fragrance itself. You wouldn't put like a little suit over the bottle. I'm just saying you could wear this in more formal situations. In terms of the opening on a one to 10 scale, I will give that one a seven. It is not mind blowing, but it is pleasant and well done. Next up, let's get rid of this tester box for Burberry Hero. Uh, this one, what is that? 1070, I believe is what the badge code is. I banish you to the shadow realm. All right, here is the bottle for Burberry Hero. It is really simple, it's really simple. Not a lot to say about that. Oh, magnetic cap. Oh, two for two. Suddenly, it's an amazing presentation. Wow, listen to that clang. Okay, I like the presentation more now. You got me with the magnetic cap. Let's give this a spray. Decent atomizer. Hmm. You know, it's not really hyper complex here. Juniper woodiness underneath, little puff of pepper, not too much. I'm gonna spray this one on skin, on my hand here. I know, I know, I know. I said I was gonna not do this, and now I'm doing it, but I didn't spray fragrance here earlier in the day, I sprayed it over here, so 
it works. Yeah, I don't know off skin. That's kind of, it's a little flatter off my skin. It's not, it doesn't have that je ne sais quoi. It doesn't have that. Mm. It's a little more boring off skin, not as much woodiness. I, I think I would have preferred a little more, mm, a, a more punch from that wood, you know, just really jack somebody in the nose. Just really embrace the cedar because in the bass here, they say that there are three different cedar notes. So that's what you're expecting. Just, just this very masculine uh, woodsy scent. And then on skin, it just kind of lays flat and it's, it's okay. It's fresh. It's, uh, I don't know. It's my description. Uh, five. Let's keep it moving to Ralph's Club from Ralph Lauren. Lauren, Lauren. <laughs> I know how to say the name. I was just messing with you guys. All right, Ralph's Club, Ralph Lauren. This is an eau de parfum, 50 milliliter size. You got the RL up at the top. Got your ingredient information on the back. And our badge code is really long. 38U101S. I think this is the coolest looking of the three bottles, but it doesn't have a magnetic cap because it has kind of a little flask cap. Ralph's Club, will you be the best or possibly the worst? That is not what I expected it to smell like. That's a lot sweeter than I was expecting, if I'm honest here. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna spray this on skin, okay? For science. So this is a lot different than most Ralph Lauren type fragrances. Uh, to be fair, that's because all the Ralph Lauren fragrances are usually polo fragrances, you know. Polo blue, polo red, some variation of those. This begins to trend more into the very sweet lavender modern men's fragrances, at least off the top here. And I don't know how much I love it. Yeah, yeah, so far this is the worst one for me. Just initial first impression off the opening. For me, this is like a four. We'll give it a four. Not very woody, slight tinges of bubblegum type sweetness mixing in with the lavender, or some sort of uh, ambroxany smelling base slightly creeping up, uh, some sort of amber woodiness. Yeah. Here's what I'm going to do though. I'm gonna cut the camera, I'm gonna let these dry down a little bit, and I'll be right back just with a quick update, and we'll see if these scores stand. And I'll go ahead and spray this on skin too, to be fair. So, I'll be right back. I am back. I'm gonna try to make this pretty quick. So, Brioni, pretty much what I said before, that still stands. It doesn't change an enormous amount from when you first spray it on, to when it dries down. Just kind of tampers everything down as far as the the projection goes. You get a little bit of a modern woodiness in the base there, but still the main thing that you're gonna pick up from that fragrance is gonna be the violet. That's the main thing that's gonna draw you in and keep you there. I would think score-wise, since I decided to do that stupidly, yeah, six and a half, seven, something like that. Hero by Burberry. This one, as it dries down, that woodiness does come out more, thankfully, but it's still not quite where I want it to be. I want just a little more push, a little more punchiness from the woodiness, or maybe a more realistic woodiness, like a foresty type smell, you know? It is definitely safe, inoffensive, easy to wear. That one, uh, yeah, maybe a six, something like that. It's not that it's a bad fragrance or anything like that. It's just the type of scent that I think, you know, 30, $35, maybe $40, pretty solid at that price point at full retail. Mm, not so much. Now, Ralph's Club. This one, when I first sprayed it on, obviously not a big fan of it. I thought it kind of sucked and I've let it dry down and now I really like it. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Had my wife check it out as well and she loved it. So now I'm in this kind of weird situation where when I first sprayed it on, I thought it was horrible and now I really like it. So here's what I like about this. As it dries down, a lot of that sweetness in the opening that was an overload kind of dissipates. And then the amount of sweetness that's in here smells balanced. At least as far as most modern men's fragrances go, it smells pretty balanced. 
when you first spray it on, you get this sort of fruitiness, this apple sweetness that goes along with the lavender. And like I said before, it's a, it's a good amount of sweetness, kind of bubble gummy. But as it dries down, that amber woodiness settles and smooths and rounds out and it melts together perfectly with the lavender that's in there, along with some other supporting notes. And so what ends up happening is this becomes just an attention grabber. It becomes one of those compliment beast kind of fragrances. I know a lot of people don't care about that at all, but a lot of people do. It is that type of scent, hyper versatile. People are gonna love the way it smells off your skin. It has a little bit of a similarity to Y Eau de Parfum. I think uh, not close enough that you would say they're you know, one-to-one -one or owning one makes the other redundant, but close enough in style that if you like Y Eau de Parfum, you'll probably like this one. Also has a really classy looking bottle, really slick, like the opening. Yeah, this one is actually hella good. That being said, it will completely be divisive for a lot of people because Ralph Lauren as a brand is not the type of brand that most people would expect to release something like this. And so when they see a cool new fragrance bottle with a name like Ralph's Club and then, you know, some of the main notes being advertised or Clary Sage, lavender and vetiver it gives you a very different idea of how this is going to smell and then i imagine when people got this in whether it was a sample or tried it in stores and they were expecting something of a, a more classical ralph lauren style you know the ralph lauren that has done uh, polo green or safari or polo crest or uh, any of those older school Ralph Lauren fragrances, you know, they expect something like that. They spray it on and it smells like a modern man's fragrance along the lines of uh, Y Eau de Parfum with a uh, bubble gummy nature and the opening that can remind somebody of like Invictus Aqua or something like that. It's not going to make those people happy. And so I completely get that aspect where some people are going to say, nah, man, that is some crap that I do not have any interest in. I hate it and I hate Ralph Lauren for making it. But where I'm sitting, smelling it, that's really friggin' good. If you're just talking a day-to-day -day wear fragrance that you can pull off at the office, hanging out with friends, uh, running errands, going on a date, going to a club, doing whatever you want, and the fragrance can pull it off, that's what it is, yeah. Is it something that's really classy, sophisticated, grown up, buttoned up, like some of the advertisements that they had for the fragrance would make you think? No, it isn't. But uh, of these three, Ralph's Club easily is my favorite. So Ralph's Club for me, number one, and then Brioni after that, and then Hero coming in last. Uh, not, not really bad necessarily, but also not really good. Like if ever there was a time for a fragrance to be summed up with that emoji, with just the flat face, you know, that is Burberry Hero. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, honestly, big surprise. I was thinking of these three that this would be my favorite. And uh, if that one wasn't my favorite, I was pretty sure it'd be Hero because of the, the woodiness that it had in the note breakdown. But Ralph's Club, once it settles, okay, I still don't like the opening. But once it settles, 15, 20 minutes, really good. Yeah, the opening, I'm not as much a fan of, but man, once it settles. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. Shout out to Fragrance Buy once again, link in the description, and thank you for staying till the end. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video.